Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to Fragrance Friday where we talk all about perfume. And today it's all about Goddess the OG and Goddess Intense. Welcome to my channel everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe because today is Fragrance Friday as mentioned already where we talk about perfume. On Mondays we talk about many Mondays, anything to do with nail polish. And on Wednesdays is Wax Wednesday where I talk about home fragrance, whether it be candle hauls from Bath & Body Works or we've got vendor wax melts or Walmart wax melts. And sometimes I just throw some really weird videos in there like get ready with me story time and a Starbucks mug collection I have to film soon. I keep telling myself to film that video. Before we get started, I'm gonna share with you guys what I do have on my nails and what I have on my lips because if I don't, you always ask. On my nails is called Summer Crush and this is from ILMP and it's chipping a little bit because I've had it on for like a week. Really enjoy this one. It's a very much like a very Barbie pink with hollow, crushed hollow and some glitters in there and it's beautiful. Great polish color, I highly recommend for summer. And on my lips, I have Buxom's full on lip polish in the color Dolly. So this one's got the little bit of sparkle into it whereas the cream doesn't have sparkle and that's what I have on my lips. Today we are talking about the OG Burberry Goddess and the intense version that just came out. I picked this up when we were going through the States. We went through Duty Free and I was able to get this and really Duty Free is not that much less expensive. Let's be honest, I think I saved five bucks. Let's start with the original Goddess from Burberry. This was released in around this time, I would say closer to the end of August of 2023. I know I remember this because my husband was away on a trip in Copenhagen and he was flying back and he took a picture and he's like, is this the thing you were talking about? I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah. I believe it was around the end of August that he was away. And I think it had only been released for like a couple of weeks. So maybe it's on track to being about the same time. When he brought this home and I was like, I was like ripping into that box. I was like, oh, it was everything I wanted this to be. It is a beautiful vanilla with a slight lavender. Lavender isn't usually used a ton in female fragrances. In fact, lavender gets added on the male spectrum. So that's why I know the name is Goddess and people got mad at me. I'm, I'm all for whatever you want to wear is great, but I do feel like that both men and women would really enjoy this one. But that said, when we go to the uh, intense one, I have a total difference of opinion. This one's just a beautiful, yummy, creamy vanilla with a little bit of lavender in the backdrop. And I have worn this quite a few times. I tried both of these out on my arms yesterday to make sure I got longevity and all that fun stuff that I can come back to you with. I eat fragrances super quickly. This one only lasts about six hours maximum. I no longer was able to smell it on my arm where I'd sprayed it in two different spots on one arm and the intense I sprayed it on the opposite arm in two different spots. That said, I really enjoy wearing this one to bed. Also just around the house. The main accords for Goddess by Burberry are vanilla, lavender, warm, spicy, and cacao. Top notes are vanilla, lavender, cacao, and ginger. Mid note is vanilla caviar. Base note, vanilla absolute. There's vanilla in every tier of the pyramid, which is great because that's why I said this is a great vanilla fragrance. You would love it if you love vanilla. If you don't like lavender, you may not like this, but the lavender isn't the number one scent that you're gonna get from it. My complaint is I don't get enough longevity, but that's because it's me. A lot of people will get way more longevity out of this fragrance than I do, but that's okay. I don't mind. I know that if I go through this, I will get another bottle, no problem, because this is one of my favorites. On the other hand, we have Burberry Intense, which just came out August or late July of 2024, so about a year apart. And this one is interesting because I'm also noticing that at the same time last year, Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana was also released and Devotion Intense by Dolce & Gabbana is about to be released. These designers are just like trying to claw their way to being first, but Burberry was there and this one's very interesting, but I can see where it's not gonna be a fan favorite for a lot of people. Main accords for Goddess Intense by Burberry are vanilla, patchouli, lavender, woody, warm, spicy, balsamic, and earthy. Top note is lavender. Mid notes are vanilla, vanilla absolute, bourbon vanilla, and vanilla caviar. Base note is patchouli. I think it's because of the patchouli that a lot of people might get put off by this one. And I'm reading a lot of people's comments on a video that I just did when I hauled this as well as two others. I will link that above when it came to vanilla, all the new vanilla releases that have been out so far. I like this one, but I'm glad I only got a smaller version. When I say how intense this is, it's great for me to tell you 
that it's truly intense. And I think it's the patchouli that really brings out the intensity of all those other scents. But vanilla is not the forward leaning scent like this one. It is definitely patchouli, lavender, vanilla. So I can see this being a major hit with men. Don't get mad at me. Don't get angry. I'm telling you, I think the men are going to love this one. They probably would love it on us ladies as well, but I really think that they're going to enjoy this on themselves. That patchouli just really intensifies everything. And I think that's what they did to intensify it. But I actually really like this one, but I only need one spray. And this is on the border of niche. When I say niche, it is like comparing this to a lot of my niche house fragrances where you need one spray and you smell it for like a week later. I sprayed this on my other arm, the opposite arm that I did this one, and it still smelled on my arm today. And so that's over 24 hours ago. She is such a beast, so powerful, but I think that's where a lot of people will not enjoy that compared to this. This is an easy reach. This is not an easy reach. This is anytime, anywhere, any season. This to me, definitely fall and winter. I'm hoping I was able to give you guys some help and some aid into choosing like which one you might like. If you can get your nose on both of these, that would be really good for yourself to try. But definitely, I think this one's gonna be your crowd pleaser. This is definitely a vanilla forward with lavender backdrop. This is patchouli lavender with a little bit of vanilla, but this will last you a really long time. So it kind of depends on where you fall when it comes to particular scent profiles that you enjoy. I hope you guys enjoy this quick video. Let me know, did you guys purchase one or both of these? And if you only have one or both, let me know which one do you prefer? I like both of them. This is just gonna get used way more. I'm glad I got the bigger bottle than this one because I only need one spray and it's gonna last me forever. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.